Well, thanks, Brian. First of all, uh, I'd like to thank everyone. Just a short one. I'd like to thank everyone for rolling up. This is an awesome attendance. Uh, obviously, people didn't fall for all the bullshit that was being peddled in the media and by Dr. Nathbeam. So, uh, congratulations and thanks very much to all the unions that have participated, uh, students, uh, and even just general mothers and, and general members of the public. It is awesome and a fantastic turnout. You're going to be congratulated. Now the last time I looked, we weren't in Bangladesh. You would have seen that factory is in Bangladesh? Well you know what, we don't live in Bangladesh, we live in Melbourne. Where people can expect to walk down the most prominent street in Melbourne, Swanson Street, and not get killed by a brick wall. As far as I'm concerned, I think it's an absolute disgrace. The builder of that site broke on four deaths, Billy Ramsey, crane driver, few weeks before, it is just absolutely unacceptable and no one wants to take responsibility. We have said all along, come out and say something to the people of Melbourne, give them a bit of confidence that this ain't going to happen again. What do we hear from the government? The silence is deafening. We hear absolutely nothing. Yet, when the unions protested about OHS last year, outside Grove Pond, Robert Clark, the Attorney General, was saying he's going to use the full force of the law against construction unions. All these people come out and said they're going to use the full force of the law and what a disgrace it was. And you know what happens? Four people get killed in a matter of not even two months. And what do we hear? Nothing. Nothing at all. And then, in the last few days, the despicable politicians that get up and want to condemn us for showing a minute silence and respect to people that have died I'll tell you what, they would have to look at themselves in the mirror because they ought to be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> and don't you ever condemn the builders for unsafe sites? We've got all the evidence on Grapevine. We've got a DVD that's been released for all the media outlets. People will see what we've been talking about. And when we had our protest over RHS, all these politicians, their golden boy was Daniel Grapevine. Rollo. You don't hear that now. You don't hear them backing him now. But they're quick to have attack us. All we want is safe sites. We work in the building industry. And you know what? We all want to come home. All our families want to come home. And the one question you want to ask is if your kids or your partner was working in the building industry, would you want it to be a union site with properly elected OHS reps? Yes! Yeah. Or would you rather they work on a growth on site with ex bouncers and thugs, the construction manager's son, and the non Because that is because that's what's happening at the moment. One of them's an ex nightclub bouncer. Nothing wrong with bouncers most of the time. But uh never worked on a building site in his life, would have done a two-day course, he's now our H and S rep. Absolute disgrace, Peter Hewitt. What a joke. <laughs> Daniel Van Camp, John Van Camp's son. He's the national construction manager. I'm sure the blokes in the Grocon side have great confidence in going up to him and saying, excuse me, we've got a big problem here, we can't be doing this. You know what happens? He gets into the departure lounge. We know what happens. And that's what happens on Grocon sites. Grocon will be sorted out in the end. We are not trying to politicise this straight after a wall collapse. For those that don't know, a lot of the CFU staff uh, first aiders, a lot of the girls, officials, even a lot of members that were in the office went across the road and what we witnessed we will never forget. And let's hope Dennis Tapthoon and some of his government never have to witness that because we were there that day, he was nowhere to be seen, they were nowhere saying anything to give Melbourneians confidence that it wasn't going to happen again and now the big cover up has already started. A wall comes down, will be hours, Grocon are allowed to go in there and clean it up. It'd be like us shooting someone and we're allowed to want clean up our own crime scene. Absolute disgrace. So, work safe. Work safe have a lot to answer for. Work safe might as well walk around seeing eye dogs. I mean, they walk on building sites, they do nothing. They are there to protect our interests also. When you work on the site and a work safe inspector comes on, he should be looking at every aspect. I'll give you just one quick story. After Billy Ramsey died, a few wives rang the union office, concerned. 
There was train drivers going up through the towers at the Emporium site they were using their mobile phones as lights so they could see where they were going, through the towers. Now we just had a bloke that's just died, and here we have, days later, people using their mobile phones as torches to see where they were going. Now, our health and safety unit had to go down there, fill out an area, and tell the broker to put more lighting in there. Now, what did workspace do when they went on the site? What were they looking at? Must they have blinkers on? I don't know. Uh, it's an absolute disgrace. It's unacceptable. But the bottom line is, you should all make me proud today. We fought for all that media stuff. When they say, oh, you should doing this wrong, you should doing that wrong. You know what, when there's so many of them coming out and saying we're doing it wrong, we must be doing it right. Because... Yeah. In the end, we are not going to let this get covered up. This is not going to get covered up. It's not going to get swept under the carpet. No politician is going to help his mate, because in the end, what Dennis Nathan should remember, they only hold the state by one seat. And in the end, construction workers and their families, they get the vote. So they want to remember that. They seem to have this absolute hatred for unions, and especially construction unions. For what reason, I don't know. Maybe they're jealous of some of our conditions that we've all had to fight for over the years. So they've had to fight for anything, but we have. So uh, in the end, thank you very much for turning up. Uh, all the media hype about it, it sometimes gets you a bit worried. We knew we were doing the right thing. One of the comments we made is, if we weren't going to the wall to show a minute's silence and a bit of respect, we would have been condemned saying we were insensitive, right? So no matter what we've done, was always going to do the wrong thing. But by the turnout we've had today, you make me all proud. Good on you. We are not going to let them sweep this under the carpet. Yeah.